here we have another Alps controller that just like every other controller the analog works fine so I can start with fine but some of these button and these here some of them don't work at all and some of them are constantly being pressed so I already unscrew this and let's see what we find here all right so first thing is that this uses the uh, connector so it's gonna be an easy repair so you think until you take a closer look here see this this is not where it needs to be and if you try to put it back you can't because the place that holds the controller the rumble it's broken so this controller if you put it back together and you play a game that has rumble this is just gonna move inside of the controller and mess it all up so the way the proper way to fix this is to change this piece and because we already have to change that let's just go ahead and do both let's take this we don't need them in and let's pull the middle core out completely and we need to remove the rumbles cable and we're gonna unplug this okay so this part is good I'm gonna set it aside and then this whole thing it's bad we don't need anything I mean we're gonna keep this these two but uh, we can't use this at all and then this is broken so I'm not even gonna take them apart I'm just gonna toss them out like that so let's see if we find another one like this in my parts bin here let's see this one it's not similar this one is the model that has this indentation here so we gotta find one with that and here's one but this side does not look the same I wonder if it will fit yeah see how it's circular here but it's the square on the top I don't know if it's gonna work it does have this part that we need all right so maybe this one definitely not that one let's see nope this one it's missing this side so not this one all right i think i found one that looks exactly like this one let's take a look pretty good match pretty identical okay so this and this extra piece trash I'm gonna save this and this is already broken so here's our new replacement part let's assemble it Actually, hold on one second. It's a lot easier when you put in this first, like that. All right, let's put this back in. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, everything looks pretty clean. Uh, here too. pretty clean everything is where it needs to be this control is in really good shape alright that's where it needs to be everything is in place down push rumble all the way a lot of times these are not all the way and how do you know when they are all the way 
is when um, this here, see this here, this is the metal piece is against the plastic on both sides. That's how you know they're all the way in. If they're sticking out, that your control will not close. Okay. This controller is fixed now. With all original parts. It came from some other dead controller that had who knows what. Long gone. And the only part that was left was that middle core. I always say those because those break a lot. Rage quit will do that. You throw that controller. If you don't crack the external shell, you will break the middle core. Feels pretty good. check my work before I clean it and I made a mistake hold on one second let's close the app but I'm pretty certain I forgot something yep I did well, see nothing is ever that easy guess what I forgot to do I didn't plug in the ribbon cable. Yep, unplugged. Rookie mistake. That will fix the problem and this is why you should always check your work even if you've done this a thousand times I literally have fixed probably I don't know well over a thousand PS2 controllers and I check my work every single time because mistakes are made that is how you learn Alright, so this can be now safely screwed together. I am fairly confident that this time it will work. Let's check my work. Ah, much better. I see action on the... Man, I kind of wish that the computer screen was like right here. So you can see light testing maybe that's something i need to do maybe i'm just gonna break the hinge on the laptop and just flatten it out on the table all right this just needs to be clean and we're good to go